My name is Natalie Field and I did my work placement at HBF head office and I worked for the corporate wellness section. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm studying a Bachelor of Health Science at Edith Cowan University and majoring in Addiction Studies. Hi, my name's Jackie Bruce and I've just finished four and a half years at ECU Joondalup studying a Bachelor of Health Science in Nutrition and Health Promotions. Hi, uh, my name's uh, Christine Hamilton Prime. I've uh, just uh, finished my, uh, all my requirements to graduate at ECU, doing a Bachelor of Health Science, majoring in Occupational Health and Safety and doing a minor in um, Psychology. By PRAC at the Cancer Council WA, what I did um, beforehand was I made contact with the supervisor there. I emailed them to find out what I might be doing when I was there so that I could then prepare myself for when I went. I was also given the opportunity to go along beforehand to get to know the building and some of the people before I actually started my PRAC, so I took up that opportunity to do that. I made sure that all my forms were filled out before I started so that we didn't waste time during the work placement. Most um, agencies where you are working with clients, they'll normally give you like a course, like a little preparation course for one to two days. So um, it's always good to go to that. Um, that's how you learn how the place works, um, any occupational health and safety issues you need to cover. Um, that sort of thing. Um, another good thing to do is to research the organisation that you're going to be doing the PRAC for just so you can know what their values are and see if they align with your values and beliefs because if that's not the case then it might not be the right place for you. Yes, with my Delphus I did a lot of research, you know, going into the interview I um, obviously had some key facts, you know, they're on the ASX 200 and they had a lot of, you know, um, diverse portfolios in terms of they had, you know, mining, oil and gas and stuff like that. So it was all about knowing the business. So knowing keywords in the business, like, um, like their safety slogan, I think that's always, always an important thing because obviously every company takes their safety program seriously. So if you're on message and on key with them, they'll they'll think well they'll know that you understand their company and their, their values culturally, which is an important thing nowadays. You have to be so organized when you do it because they I kind of found like they weren't sure what to do with me and so you also have to kind of put yourself out there and be really organized. So I made sure I made myself a log. Um, before I started and every week I would write down what I did so that at the end of the seven weeks or whatever it was I could go back to that and see all the things that I'd done. So you've got to be really organised before you start. So on my first day I made sure that I was on time obviously and I made sure that I was organised and well presented and when I say well presented I mean you want to look professional but you also want to wear something appropriate to your workplace. Um, so, you know, if you're working in an office where everyone's in a suit and tie, you want to obviously dress like that. But my workplace was a little more casual, so if I'd rocked up in a suit and tie, I would have really fit in and I would have felt uncomfortable. So it's all about making sure that you're really comfortable and that you're not too nervous. So, you know, being on time, being organised will help those things. Well, first day, I guess, I just um, made sure that I listened a lot to what was going on and what was expected of me. I asked as lots of questions to clarify what they wanted me to do and just to kind of try to be relaxed but to fit in because I was working in an open office which is something I've never done before. So that was a new experience for me and I realised that um, I've always thought that it might be quite difficult to do but I actually found it a little bit easier than I thought. Number one thing I think to do is just to always call the organisation beforehand, maybe one or two days beforehand, just to confirm your shift, make sure um, you've got the time right, um, the, the date right or things like that. As far as tasks in the workplace, um, really you have to be really proactive in what you want to get out of the placement. So, you know, putting your hand up for things is a huge thing you've got to do. So basically I did a lot of sitting in meetings and I did a lot of data entry, but I also kind of put myself out there and offered to go and do um, presentations with some of the workers or I would go downstairs and work with the health and safety lady because that's my field of study. Um, so really just immersing yourself in things that can help you because really you're there for yourself and you want to put 
in as much as you want to get out. You want to be, you know, at people's, you know, forefront of their mind, go, oh yeah, you know, she she did practice, she was very, very good. Um, oh yeah, she, she really knew what she was talking about, you know, she asked questions, she was really, really helpful. You don't want to be the person who doesn't ask questions and, you know, kind of just, you know, drags their feet along their prac, you know, work placement. Um, I guess that's the biggest thing. You want to be, you want to stand out, you want to be noticed, you want to be remembered. You know, it's also a great um, time to ask them, you know, can you be a, a reference for my CV? That's also important as well. Obviously making those network connections where you can, you know, potentially expand your network. So knowing people within the industry is, is critical. So obviously, you know, creating a network and starting a network is also important whilst doing PRAC. Basically, I, I think that doing a PRAC is really beneficial because it helps you to develop your professional self. So whilst you may not feel that you're getting a lot out of your PRAC in terms of, you know, sitting there and learning heaps, you are developing your uh, professional self. So you're building on skills like networking and, you know, meeting people and organising and just all those type of things that are going to help you get a job in the future, like your communication skills, you know, your willingness to learn, they're all really important things and, you know, really big things that employers look for nowadays and those are things you can work on while you're there. So I think it is a good thing to do possibly halfway through your degree to just make sure you're on the right track to what you want to do and if the practice isn't what you expected, then it's a good opportunity to reassess and think, well, I do want to do this degree, but maybe do another major or minor or something like that. I would say it's really important to do a PRAC unit because it gives you opportunities and you have no idea the people that you're going to come in contact with in that, within that opportunity, that in the future, you may cross their paths again, you may get an opportunity to get a job and people remember you when you do a prac, particularly if you're good at it. If you excel in a prac, some I have met people that have got their jobs from their prac. You know, you are making an impression. So it's important for you to choose a prac carefully as well. Don't just think, oh, I'll do that and I'll just get it over with. Make sure when you pick a prac, it's something you're interested in and some because you have a control over that as well. You can ask, you can sort the organisation that you want and then you can work that out with your supervisor. So if you have a passion about something, look for a PRAC unit that you can do because people want students that are interested in doing things that, that can take a project or an idea forward, help them and also help yourself in the future.